Hey guys, and a very warm welcome to Friday Fretworks. This week's episode is going to be all about answering a question that I was asked relatively recently, actually, on Instagram, I think it was, um, in regard to which is my favourite fuzz pedal. To be honest, I'm probably not the best guy to be offering or kind of proffering any advice on fuzz pedals, um, purely because it's not an effect that I've used to any great extent, um, even more so outside of the kind of fuzz face bracket, which is where my kind of quote-unquote expertise, and trust me, it's far from that, tends to lie. Um, big Muff, kind of tone benders, or even any kind of more modern fuzzes that you would associate with companies like Zvex, I'm far from the guy to ask. You know, guys like Scott Holiday from Rival Sense, divert your questions at him, because he'll be infinitely more kind of educated to the, you know, different types available. But as I said, fuzz face pedals are something that I've used on and off, I guess, for a couple of years now. Um, and... There's a Buck and Evans track on YouTube uh, called Screaming, which I get a lot of questions about what is the fuzz pedal on that track. And when people know the answer, why I don't use that fuzz pedal anymore, all this kind of stuff, which sounds more intriguing than it actually is. So I thought I would do a little bit of a breakdown video and try and explain which ones I use, how I use them, and more importantly, how they sound. So without further ado, the three contenders are going to be um, the SM fuzz pedal, which, as I mentioned, if you've kind of seen pictures of my pedal board recently, you probably will have seen this one. Um, it's a relatively new fuzz pedal, I guess. We're talking kind of past sort of five, six years. Um, and tends to have a fairly hefty price tag um, attached to it. I was pretty lucky in that I got this one on eBay, uh, secondhand quite cheap. Um, and it's been a fantastic puzz, uh, puzz, fuzz pedal even that's seen me through a lot of gigs. And apparently, um, as the grass stuck to the back of the Velcro will attest, has been pretty much everywhere. Um, the second fuzz pedal is the fuzz pedal that is actually being used on Screaming, that Buck and Emma's track that I mentioned, and would still be there if it were not for the fact that it is hideously impractical and absolutely massive. It is this, which, as you will probably know, is a fuzz face. Um, I don't know a massive amount about this pedal, to be honest. Um, my old man bought it for me when I've been probably playing guitar about a year, I guess, maybe. And I don't think I'd ever used a pedal before. And then suddenly I had this thing in my hand. Didn't have a clue how to work it. Couldn't even get any sound out of it for the longest time. Because it turns out I was plugging in the... For some reason it seemed... It made sense to me at the time that the guitar would be the output. Because that was the last thing that your lead saw. But obviously in more recent times I've been educated in the fact that the output is in fact the amp. But going back to kind of, I don't know, 14-year-old me. I couldn't even get any sound out of it because I had it plugged in the wrong way. But... In more recent times, and slightly more enlightened times, um, falling in love with this head over heels. Um, it actually stopped working. I think the transistor went um, probably going back about four or five years, I guess. And I had a mate of mine replace it with God knows what. Um, so as far as kind of specifics go, I can't really offer too much advice, but I know that it sounds incredible. It is made by Dennis Cornell, I do believe, um, and is serial number 732. Um, and I, all I know is that I've done a little bit of research into the past, um, into them in the past rather, and I know that they tend to go for around kind of three, four hundred quid mark, which, again, for a fuzz pedal, seems ridiculous to be honest. They're such simple circuits, but apparently very hard to get right. So whoever, whatever, who cares? Last contender being the new one in the block. Um, it is in fact the VS Audio Fuzzy Tail. This is a pedal that's been sent to me by Panos at Vios, Vies, even out in Greece uh, recently. And the couple of times that I've used it, it sounds absolutely incredible. Again, it's based on a fuzz face, so it's kind of falls within the realm of what we're looking at today. Um, but I thought I would just kind of go through the three of them, running them in turn each into a kind of clean up, quote unquote. It's all going to be guitar rig again. And for those asking me week on week about guitar rig demos and kind of instructional videos on how I get my tones, there is one coming up, do not fear. Um, but I'm going to run it into a clean amp and then a dirty amp, which to be honest is tends to be more my kind of uh, realm. If not so much dirty amp, something that simulates a dirty amp, like a tube screamer. Um, if you think of those kind of classic, or generally speaking, I think of those classic kind of fuzz face tones, you associate it with guys like Hendrix, who for the most part he was using a fuzz face, was running it into a dimed Marshall stack that was absolutely begging for mercy. So the fuzz face into that then, which is already kind of a breaking point, just adds that extra level of craziness. Fuzz face style pedals and clean amps tend to be, at least for my kind of personal taste, a little bit serrated, a little bit harsh, and a little bit kind of... Just not pleasant, really. So I'm going to be running it into a clean app just to show you what it sounds like and then into a dirty app just to give you a kind of better idea of how I would probably use it. So without further ado, let's delve into it and see what they sound like.
so there we have it. Um, to be honest, I was in two minds as to whether to even film the kind of concluding part of the video, offering my input as to which is my favourite, just because I guess part of the fun of these videos is allowing people to take from them what they will, you know, and my favourite pedal in this demo may well not be your favourite pedal, so in that respect, how relevant is my input? But I guess, as someone asked me directly as to which one it was, I thought I'd probably best proffer my kind of two pounds into which is my favourite, and it probably goes without saying, to be honest, and without any surprise, that it is, in fact, the first face itself. I think it's just such a kind of fat, kind of woolly, warm sounding pedal. Um, it's just everything that you would kind of want a first face to be, at least for my tastes. Um, as I said, it broke down a couple of years ago and was fixed by a good friend of mine um, who replaced the transistor because um, it turns out that was the, uh, the faulty component, but I don't know what he put into it. So maybe I'll take it apart and do some gut shots at some point and people can kind of try and figure out what is in it, but as for kind of specifics, I'm afraid I don't know. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed it. As ever, thank you very much for watching and if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that kind of good stuff. Check out my Facebook page, check out Buck and Emmons' Facebook page, there's links in the uh, description box below. Um, and I shall definitely see you next week for another episode of Friday for Outworks. Cheers guys, take care.